Okay, we got a 2001 Chevrolet Prism. Same thing as a Toyota Corolla. And we're going to check the fuel pressure on this car. And so what you got, so what we have is we have this fuel line right here. It's coupled right here, which is where you are going to need to disconnect it. You can disconnect it here. You can disconnect it at the fuel filter. And you can pig in a fuel pressure gauge there too but I'm gonna go right here um, and it just that, that's the line that runs up to the fuel rail for the injectors so that's what we're gonna do so what you need if you go there if you go to that point you're gonna need a decent fuel pressure kit with the uh, coupling like this and that should work I believe I believe this is going to be the coupling I'm not 100% sure but uh, if not we're going to find something in here that's going to that's going to work yeah I think that's going to do it so let me uh, let me get my tool for decoupling the fuel pressure or the fuel line, and we'll get this hooked up. To get these off, this one's kind of a pain because it's got this other this little ridge right here. So I'm going to use just the, this little cheap plastic removal tool. And what I'm going to have to do is. angle it in there if I can do this one handed let me uh, let me figure out what I'm going to do with the camera get all this out of, out of your way okay yeah so what I've got to do is attempt to get these little doohickeys in there you usually don't have to fight it like this because that most fuel lines don't have that that extra little ridge right there okay that should have done it there we go see what I mean Hopefully you can see that it's got this ridge and this ridge. Usually you only have the one. That one right there, I don't know why it's in there. I'm going to hook the, hook the fuel gauge up. Snap that on. Snap that on. So now, got a fuel pressure gauge hooked up. Check the fuel pressure. We're going to turn the key on. And with the key on, we are not getting any rise in fuel pressure. So now I'm going to try to start it. With a cranking, the fuel pump activates, pressure builds, engine starts. So I've got to look at the diagram and find out how this fuel pump is wired and try to figure out why. Let's see how, okay. So when you kill the engine, you should be able to maintain fuel pressure, and it does. And, and even whenever it's running, the fuel pressure is within limits, although it's kind of on the low side. 44 to 50 is the limit for this vehicle with it running um, and it's probably what is that 46 maybe 46 47 and it does maintain the although it bogs it, it's boggy definitely you don't put your foot down and get instant throttle response um, but the fuel pressure is there that's probably closer to 
Yeah, that's probably about 46, 47 still. Turn the car off. It drops down to maybe 42. Um, so we'll let it sit here. I think after five minutes, it's supposed to be above 35, if I remember right. But anyway, that's how you hook into the fuel line on, on a car like this. And what I've got is just a, a fuel pressure test kit that uh, that's got a bunch of different adapters, fittings, you know, hopefully pretty much everything you would need depending on what kind of car. The nice thing about this one is uh, it's got a nice long hose, which the one I've had for years um, had kind of a short hose, did not have this release. This is a pressure release so that whenever you uh, get ready to disconnect your line, you just push this and then any excess fuel comes out this hose right here. Um, and that's something else I really kind of forgot to say. Before you attempt to disconnect your fuel line, you kind of need to deplete the fuel pressure. I never do. Just be aware that you're probably going to get a little bit of fuel pressure because, I mean, right now with the car off, obviously it's still got some pressure in the line. And I'm not afraid to disconnect that right now, but I, what I would do is have a rag wrapped around it and, uh, and I would disconnect it. And I wouldn't be, you know, I personally wouldn't be that concerned about it. But you are going to spray a little bit of fuel out, so just be aware of that. You know, watch your eyes, put safety glasses on so you don't get gas in your eyes. On the fuel pressure gauge, I'm going to, I'll release it right here to bleed off the pressure. But right now I want to see how low that's going to drop. And what I'm probably going to do, so this car's got a 171 code that I may have actually already fixed it. But while I'm here, I just want to check everything else. I wanted to check the fuel pressure. I also want to pulse the injectors and see what each injector uh, reads at. And what I'm going to use for that is I've got a tool right here. Hold on a minute. Let me get it out. I've had this thing for years. I can't remember the last time I used it. And uh, this is a fuel pressure, uh, fuel injector tester. And what it does is it just pulses the injectors an exact pulse rate. You got three settings. Um, they all equal 500 milliseconds, but you got one pulse at 500 milliseconds, that's half a second. 50 pulses at 10 milliseconds each, and 100 pulses at 5 milliseconds.